views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit, and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. But before we get to those callers, welcome everyone to Angel Healing House Radio and Welcome to the first show of June 2019. I'd like to start the show off today with an absolutely beautiful review that I received for the audiobook of my book, I Am an Angelic Walk in the Autobiography of Angel Ariel. Um, a lot of people know that this book came out in print a couple of years ago, but uh, some people may not know that we turned it into an audiobook on audible.com uh, um, a year ago. Yeah. And, uh, and those people who enjoy audiobooks over the um, printed word will enjoy that. But this, uh, this beautiful review is called Enthralled. It's entitled Enthralled. From the moment I started listening, I was captivated. Candy took me on a journey beyond my earthly understandings. Her gentle narration is clear and easy to listen to, and sometimes with a perfect dose of humor. I come away from her story much wiser and calmer. I now have a sense of myself in the universe that is informed and inspired by Candy Angel Ariel, and it's a comfort to me day to day. Her autobiography is a journey that you must listen to. You'll learn to have more love and compassion for yourself, which is one of the best lessons to learn from I Am an Angelic Walk-In, beautifully done, and that comes from Tanya in Los Angeles, California. Again, to purchase and download this amazing recounting of my autobiography, please do visit audible.com. And a new month means a new monthly theme for uh, from the Posse of Angels. And with so many of these energies of June igniting a rebirth, a regeneration. We have the summer solstice coming up in a couple of weeks. The theme of empowerment and belief in, our stel- in ourselves will be the theme for June. And today's topic is allowing God to be your compass. You know, working with 
God and the angels has been a guiding light for me and pretty much my only compass for the past 16 years since I had my angelic walking experience on January 11th of 2003. I know deep in my heart that God and my angelic family, the posse of angels, they always have my back and that they are always answering my prayers, not only for the greatest good of myself, but for the greatest good of all concerned. Now, I really want you to take note of the last part of that sentence, the greatest good of all concerned. For, you know, everyone, when we intend for things to manifest in our lives through our prayers, our wishes, sometimes our pleading and begging, we normally focus on that which would be best for us. And when we do this, immediately God and the angels hear our prayers. They go off and they start to work on organizing the coming together of opportunities, connections, situations to bring about the fulfillment of our desires. But the Posse of Angels wants to remind us that many of our prayers do not manifest immediately and instantly because the angels are coordinating the connections and opportunities to work for the greatest good of all concerned. Now, the reason they do this is that the universe sees all of us not just as individuals, but as one humanity. And if something is beneficial for one person, then it's beneficial for us all. In his poem, No Man is an Island by John Donne, it says, no man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent. It's a part of the main. Knowing that no man nor woman, nor child is unto themselves, the posse of angels also wants us to realize that by seeing us as one big humanity, they see the enormous potential and limitless possibilities that are created by helping each other in giving and receiving. Now, on a previous Angel Healing House radio program, I had a caller call in who asked the Posse of Angels some advice on whether they should ask for monetary assistance from their family as their funds were exceedingly low and just going south. She said she hated, she absolutely hated asking for anything as she wanted to remain independent and do things on her own. She said, well, if I'm so powerful, I should be able to manifest money. I should be able to manifest financial security for myself. Well, firstly, firstly, I shared with her that we're not here in this physical incarnation to do anything by ourselves. We're not here to do anything alone. As children of God, We are here to co-create our lives with that higher source and the angels by first setting our intentions and secondly, allowing God to figure out the how and the when of those intentions happening again for the greatest good of all concerned. You know, I've said on previous radio programs, Uh, which, by the way, are all archived on the Transformation Talk radio site, that, uh, uh, you know, if we could see our contracts and what we write into them to learn in this lesson and all the hundreds of thousands of people to help us, we would be able to breathe easier. We'd have a sigh of relief. We'd have so much peace inside of us because each each day, in, uh, in convoluted ways, uh, we are sent all the help that we will ever need in these uh, comings and goings, in these opportunities and these connections. So we're not here to do anything alone. I shared with this caller that perhaps one of the lessons that she contracted for herself in this lifetime was to be in this uh, situation 
of diminished funds in order for her to practice being humbled and to receive. An added bonus is that by asking for assistance, she gives her family the opportunity and the grand blessing to give to her. Now, one of the things that many people do when their finances get stretched is that they see their abundance only in terms of money. What is important to remember is that money is just one form of abundant energy that we can open to receive from the universe. And how abundant was this caller that her life is infinitely blessed with people who she can ask to help her financially. You know, when Pete and I moved from Australia to the States in 2008, we were told by God and the angels to come to the States in order to realize our dreams and our projects coming true. At that time, Pete was just starting off in the film industry and uh, what made total logical and rational sense was to connect with either Fox Studios in Sydney or Warner Brothers Studios on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. But if there's one thing that I have truly learned by allowing God and the angels to be my compass is that the universe does not work out logically. So following God's directions, we stepped forward like two faithful children And we didn't question his or her plan. We arrived here six months before the recession officially hit. And yet when we look back at those first two years, we can clearly see how God and the angels provided abundance for us in so many magical ways, with so many magical connections, and brought people to give to us. These synchronicities would never have occurred if Pete and I had put conditions on the universe on how to give abundance to us and if we were not fully open to receive. Now, here they come. The Posse of Angels wants to remind us that although each one of us is a very special energy, a unique being, we are all part of the one collective consciousness. On one hand, we each have a very important puzzle piece to share with the world. But most of the time, for the fulfillment of our dreams to come to fruition, we must open for the universe to send us help. And so often, that help does involve other people. I recently had a former client reconnect with me and say that, Ever since they followed my suggestion of letting go, of trying to figure out the how and the when life had to logically fulfill their desires, because this is not our providence. Our providence is just to have our wishes and intentions. The how and the when of life working out, that is for higher source. But when they let go of that um, on the how and the when, Uh, that life had to logically fill their desires, their whole life had become much easier and more free-flowing, having completely changed their perception of pushing the direction of life on how life had to give to them. And by opening to receive in God's infinite ways, they now truly enjoy their journey of life stress-free as they watch the magical events occur for them. They watch for the signs and they take inspired action and steps forward when their intuition tells them. They explained how all that time that they used to spend worrying and stressing that life was not happening to their specifications. Well, that part of life was now spent in truly enjoying and being in wonder how the universe continually co-created to answer their intentions, prayers, and their dreams. Now, having devoted myself to live this way for the past 16 years, God, source, universe, he, she, all that is, whatever you want to call that, when they, it, says jump, Pete and I say how high. 
We don't question it. On the other side of that has always been miraculous rewards. I've experienced unexplained and miraculous synchronicities that have manifested to answer my prayers. And they appeared in ways that even the most imaginative, wildly creative person could ever have scripted something to happen in those ways. And the way I was led to create my Angel Healing House radio program was one of those miracles that happened because I allowed God to be my compass. Years ago, years ago, now let's go way, way back, (laughs) 2006, on a trip to Carmel, California, I ventured into a new age shop. And uh, Pete and I were um, touring the state there. We still lived in Australia. And I happened upon this new age shop. And I went in for a reading with a lovely psychic. She shared with me. Uh, she just shuffled the cards. Uh, she chose. Uh, she asked me to cho- cho- choose a few, but she didn't even look at the cards. She shared with me that I would be an author and that I would be doing lots and lots of podcasts. This was years before I had authored any books. And she said that the angels were saying that I would be doing radio but not radio. Not knowing what that was, I tried to get her to explain. She didn't even know what that was. I told her, thank you, but I'll wait for further signs. For the next several years, through readings, which I received from friends, they each told me that I would be doing radio, but not radio, but gave me no further explanation. Now, fast forward five years later in 2011, when my angel healing house um, uh, practice was so slow, I kept asking God and the angels repeatedly to send me more clients. Crickets. The silence of the phone not ringing was deafening. One day I decided to let go of my frustration and simply ask, okay, show me how to be of best service and I will follow your direction, not mine. A few days later, on January 2nd, I awoke and the posse of angels gave me a not so gentle nudge to connect with lots of people on LinkedIn. And in the days to follow, they told me to get a paid psychic reading. I balked at their suggestion as I had lots of friends who I had swapped readings with. But the posse of angels were not only persistent, but they insisted that I get a paid reading. Now, having made lots of connections on LinkedIn, I was looking at the psychic profiles and not feeling overly excited when suddenly I came across a gentleman by the name of Psychic Jethro. All over goosebumps and shivers were all that I needed to take inspired action and to phone him. He immediately answered the phone and I asked him, how much it cost for a reading. And his response was this. Whoa, look at all the angels around you. I've never seen anyone with that many angels. Hold on. My guides are telling me that you are one of the angels. I can't charge you for a reading. Hold on. They're now telling me radio, but not radio. Do you know what that means? I have a radio show on Blog Talk Radio. This week, I'd love for you to come on my radio program and do angel readings with me. Would you like that? Stunned, I I finally found my voice and I said yes. Three days later, Jethro and I were trading callers on his show for readings and I felt like I was flying the very next day in January. 2012, I booked my own Angel Healing House radio program. Now, the posse of angels told me not to have guests, as this would be a platform to bring forth channeled messages on topics that they would choose to help with the ascension of the conscious collective and then take callers. Over the past almost eight years, Angel Healing House radio has given me the platform to help people nationally. And internationally, and I've got calls from Canada, 
India, Ireland, Jordan, Italy, Brazil, France, just to name a few places where people were listening to Angel Healing House radio, but not radio. And the funny thing about following God's compass as to what I should do instead of what I thought I should do, which was just getting more clients in my physically in my healing practice, um, I started to find it started to find me in the most extraordinary ways to foster and support me doing what I am divinely meant to do. You know, it reminded me of all the times when God asked me, you know, when I asked God for more clients and the posse of angel delivered the message, that's nice, go write another book. So like a faithful child, I allowed God to be my compass and I wrote and I wrote and then I wrote. If I would have followed my own compass, I would have touched the lives of my one-on-one clients Yet I would have limited my reach in helping others. By following God's compass, I have had the opportunity to globally touch people's lives and take the posse of angels' messages to the far corners of the globe. Through the global reach of Angel Healing House Radio and the many radio and TV interviews with hosts who found me directly through my radio program, my books are available in over 100 countries, including China, India, Italy, Germany, Russia, Brazil, Poland, South Korea, and over 30,000 wholesalers, retailers, and book sellers, including the UK, Canada, and Australia. It was directly through the global reach of my radio program and following God's suggestion and compass to do radio, but not radio. Because of the reach in 2017, it saw my two books, One True Home, Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, and I Am an Angelic Walk-In, <clears throat> excuse me, saw those two books go number one on Amazon as international bestsellers. In the UK, USA, Germany, Australia, and Canada. This happened because I allowed God to hold the pen in my hand to write and channel the radio programs and write the books. And I let him, her, all that is, be my compass. Then miracles happened. One could say that I'm experiencing my own fairy tale because I've chosen to look at life with the eyes of wonder and enchantment of a child and the belief in miracles born of having faith in following God and the angels. And by living this way, one reverts to experiencing life as a child of God and a child of God is taken care of, guided and provided for in all possible ways. And having lived this way for the past 16 years, I can tell all of you, that it is heavenly and the posse of angels wish for us to know that if we want our fairy tale to come true, we need to view the world through magical possibilities, enchantment, and wonder. Before we go to a break, just a reminder, everyone, that as of yesterday, June the 3rd, we are experiencing a new moon. And while new moons are generally a time when we can see things clearly, this one is a little bit different because it is in the easily distracted sign of Gemini. And while we would like the new to magically appear for all of us, reflecting the new light of the moon, it's probably more a time when we get clarity as to what questions to ask rather than receiving answers. Now, the Posse of Angels is reminding us that the answers are often very easy. It's the questions that many people are not clear at at all about as to what questions they are asking. Now, the new moon is giving us the energy to look deep and identify what are we striving for and what is now motivating and driving our passions whether this is for a new relationship, a new job, new location. How about a new perspective and a new attitude on life? 
this new moon is giving us the opportunity to align ourselves with the next steps so that our dreams will manifest into physical reality. Because every time we make a wish, because there's no time in heaven across the veil, it manifests immediately. It takes a little bit longer because the energies are more dense here in the physical realm to manifest in physical reality. It's only when your intentions become clear, then do our next steps for us to take. Then they become clear. So use the light of this new moon to really see, are the questions that I'm asking, will they bring me the answers which are for the greatest good not only of myself, but the greatest good of all concerned. You've been listening to me, Claire Candy Hoff, an Angel Healing House Radio. We are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. Remember to call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. And myself, And the Posse of Angels would love to speak with you. We'll see you right after the break. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Huff. Angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Take your own journey with the angels with Claire Candy Huff's Heaven Sent Guided Angel Meditation CD. Letting go of concerns and living in the now. This beautiful CD walks listeners through practical exercises to help free them from the burdens, worries, and concerns of daily life. Walking a quarter of the way across the bridge, you see a bright, emerald green light and sense a loving presence. This is Archangel Raphael's green healing energies, nourishing and revitalizing you. Take a moment now to bathe in this green healing light. Giving you much more than just relaxation and stress release, this wonderfully narrated CD provides vivid visualization, soothing and inspiring music, and an angel's choir that will bring you peace, clarity, and a newfound awareness. Visit angelhealinghouse.com today. Hello, everyone. You're back with me, Claire Candy Hoff on Angel Healing House Radio. We are speaking about allowing God to be your compass as we go into this new month of June. Uh, we are under the light of the uh, new moon in Gemini, uh, which is uh, it's easily distracting us, but it's also shining a light on getting us really clear as to what questions to ask for the manifestation of our new beginnings and a regeneration for so many of us. Um, as, as now is the time for karmic windfalls and karmic paybacks and compensation. So a little bit more about that after we take some of your calls. Our first caller is Kim in San Francisco. Hi, Kim. You're on the line with Claire Candy Hop. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you, Claire, for this uh, for your service. I'm grateful for what you do to uplift humanity to this new height. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're you're very welcome. Thank you so much. I I I often have said to uh, to people that uh, I can't believe it. this is my eighth year every week showing up doing this show. And I've given away thousands upon thousands of readings, free readings, when I charge for readings. And people say, well, why do you do that? And you take so long with people on the phone. And I said, because I have so much fun doing it. 
and I feel abundant. And then, uh, then God and the angels have provided um, unbelievable abundance in so many miraculous ways that allows me to then continue to do this. So um, it's a win-win situation for me, Kim. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So I'm grateful for that. I mean, I wake up, I saw this post. I said, I need to call this lady. I don't know what it is, but I'm curious because for me, as a healer, I'm like you. I go out and about my day. Miracle and magic happen everywhere I go. I am a mm-hmm. healer also. Yeah. I practice for 26 years. Mm-hmm. My question is, as I ask, God, how can I serve you more? So mm-hmm. that is my question. Whatever you pick up, whatever my next step is, because I'm writing a book. And right. And it's been 10 years. This book has not really complete, and I really ask for the angel God and my spirit guide to help to speed up the process. Because the language of the book is a bit harsh, because it, it's the language of the 3D. Mm-hmm. Is, um, may I share with you? Yes, of course. So this is, is around my question. So the book title is Stop Ditching and Stop Living. And the subtitle is Heal Your Heart and Prosper. Mm-hmm. And with that, it is like 3D, 5D, how I, I can integrate. Because English is my second language. So right. So I have other people helping me, but sometimes they help me with their essence. So my question here, how can I change, grow, evolve to make things happen to whether to use that title, change the title, to have the book finished, and to serve more to serve God, to really bring this teaching out globally because that's the love, the joy, the innocence that we share will mm-hmm. uplift ourselves and others, bring abundance awareness it's okay. all around us. Okay, so that's Kim, my question. Okay, I'll stop you there. The, uh, the most important thing uh, that you said is to help people on a global level. I never start, I never did anything. I never did anything to go global. That was the decision of God and the angels. It says in the Torah that if one person, if you, if, if one person saves or helps one person, one other person, then they save, then they help save the world. All you do is follow your bliss. You don't do anything for for the global recognition. I never did anything to be known. That's what's happened for me. I did it to follow the inner joy and the wonderment in my heart and then to be of service to people. And when God presented me with things, and I, then I got goosebumps and Pete and I, my twin flame, my husband Pete, we got excited, then we stepped forward. So the first thing that the posse of angels, my angelic family, are saying to you is take your emphasis off of the number of people that you're helping. Okay, that's, not, that's, that's, that's not your goal. That never was my goal. My goal was to serve the divine inside of me. If you have listened to any of my programs, I talk about our divine, eternal nature. This is because we were made in that reflection of God's source, and we are all divine. We hold that divinity inside of us, of calm, of peace, of unity, of acceptance, sure, because you have free will and we can make decisions and choices. You can keep covering it up with racism or hatred or all the different choices that a human being has to make, can make with their free will. But underneath, we are all divine and whole and complete. And as long as we follow the seeds that God planted in our heart, for you, it is, it is uh, that book is very important and they want you to finish it. Because that book is then going to be your calling card 
to be interviewed on radio, to be interviewed on TV, to to take uh, to for them to present opportunities for you to then take you out uh, into different situations. So I think that's the most important part for you to uh, don't doubt. This book wasn't given to anybody else. This book was specifically given to you for for it to be a calling card for you then to you know you can go and uh, and uh, go to different like new age shops or or different venues and you can you can teach teach the spiritual wisdom that's in this book you can do podcasts you can do workshops you can do newsletters on it you know, blogs you can do all kinds of things but they want you to finish the book in order to uh uh, receive the complete um, ramifications, the complete, uh, you know, uh, connections and the events that are, that they've already set up. They've already set these things up for you, um, but you cannot receive them until you finish the book. Um, and they they said, don't worry, who's going to publish it? They don't wor- worry about marketing. They don't worry about anything because they will bring to you. They will bring to you the connections and opportunities because they want this book to get out there. But that's not your worry. That's not your providence. You know, I've had many people when they find out that I'm an author, they say they they have a great idea for a book and they're already planning their worldwide book tour when they haven't even written one single word. So don't put the card. This is my second book. Thank you. Okay. They really want you to, um, I had a situation once where I had a client and I read for her a number of times. Uh, she, she wrote a book and she was having trouble financially. Um, and then, uh, she knew that there was going to be a sequel. And I said, have, I said, they want you to start writing the sequel for the, for the book. And she's saying, she said, well, until they bring me a publisher or a literary agent, I'm not going to, I'm not going to write the second book. So she was discounting and she was going against her intuition that told her to write the second book. And she continued to be unemployed and to have terrible, terrible, uh, relationships in her life. Um, because she discounted, you know, uh, that, that of course, logically, um, she wanted a publisher, a literary agent for her first book before she went and wrote the sequel um, or, or her second book. So life does not happen rationally or logically. Uh, they really want you yes, to yes. finish that book. Okay, let's go to the cards because I do have a few more callers and uh, and see what comes out in the cards. Lovely Kim. Uh, they're saying, while, while I'm just choose, uh, shuffling the cards, they're saying that you're doing a very good job. You're being a good steward of God's word and bringing forth this book. So they're really patting you on the back. Uh, the first card that's coming out for you, this card is the Prince of Cups. Okay, this is the proposal card. This is, can, it, it can be a proposal in romance, but in this case, it's a proposal in business. Okay, so the more that you uh, write about your book, that you you know, and the subject matter in blogs, in newsletters, you can even start your own radio program as a spiritual counselor. The more you put yourself out there in fun and joy and do what you passionately love doing, then it's a win win because then people can find you and then bring other opportunities back to you. The next card for you is the nine of swords. Now this is the worry card. This is putting too much expectation and an, an attachment on what you're doing, okay? And um, and in this case, worrying uh, to connect with people globally rather than doing what you love doing because God seeded it in your soul. And the next card comes out for you is the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning in your career. It's a new beginning um, in business. It's a new connections with people to help you do what you love doing. So I hope all of that has been helpful for you, Kim. 
Yes, it's very helpful. Thank you very much, Claire. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Have an no, I'm so happy. It's been good for you. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Very much, Claire. Thank you so much to uh, Kim in San Francisco. And that goes for each and every one of us. Do not put expectation and attachment on what you do. In this world, we have been programmed to do what we do for fame, for money, for success, for being globally, how many likes we have and how many followers we have, or how many shares we have, all of those things. And what matters most is the joy in your heart, the seed God placed in your soul to bring forth creatively, excitedly, passionately. And you will connect with the people that you're supposed to connect with. Let's go to our next caller. We have Karen in Toronto. Hi, Karen. How are you today? I'm good, Candy. How are you? I am very, very well. I'm, it's so nice to see you. It's been, I remember you at the beginning of your journey, and I was blessed to have been able to talk to you a long time ago. And uh, it's like, meeting a new friend again. <laughs> oh, Karen, I remember those early blog talk radio days. It was just, all I all I knew yeah. was just, just to step forward. That's all I heard. Yeah. All you need to you do, me. Yeah. all you Thank need to you do is again. just just step up. Just keep stepping forward when we ask you to, and you will fly. Everything will be fine. Mm. Do, do the Posse of Angels have any insight as to, you know, how they kept saying to you, radio but not radio? <laughs> I'm, I'm the standing re- going, uh, <laughs> <laughs> The reason they said radio but not radio was because it's internet radio. It's exactly. radio but not radio. And from for an angel's point of view, who has never been in in physical form, as many and and the posse of angels who have not, you know, um, incarnated in human form, it is radio, but it's not radio because it's not a not the knobs on the you know transistor radios or the radios of the you know the the original radios. It's internet radio. Yeah. <laughs> so that's beautiful. that's. <laughs> that's that's why they were saying that. So, did you have a, a specific question in mind today, Karen? That we can have a look at? Yeah, Candy. I'm trying to. I had a. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm 60, and I know that I'm stepping into the um, the evening of my life, and I want. I'm excited and wanting to know what direction. Um, I know we show up and do what we love, uh, but. How does, do they just see what direction that I might uh, be led to? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, the, uh, the thing that they're saying now is they want you to see your life not going into the evening of your life. Uh-huh. They said... You are getting younger. It's like in, in Eastern, a lot of Eastern philosophies, and I'm just getting shivers now. When we're born, a lot, of, a lot of Eastern philosophies cry because we're leaving our one true home behind the veil of forgetfulness. We're leaving that, uh, that realm of that we are so close to God, you know, as close as our next breath, as our next heartbeat, and that we are... Uh, we are, uh, you know, moving away from that. And as we get older, we are walking closer to our heavenly home. And so as we get older, that's why so many um, people in their latter years, they revert back to, uh, you know, almost childlike innocence. And they want you in particular, Karen, if you can do this, I know that I've captured it because I am the biggest kid out. I, I see life 
like a kid with a lollipop or a balloon or I, I wiggle. And I've spoken about my wiggle on this program. When I start to wiggle, I just go in the direction of that wiggle and I laugh and I, I am giddy. Um, and they want you to do the same thing. They want you to get excited about this next phase of your life because you're being, it's like you're being reborn into being a child. Next, it's a new moon. You're not dreaming big enough. We are no longer waiting. Stop waiting. We are no longer waiting for the next shoe to drop. Our vision, our visualization, our imagination is creating our reality. What, where do you want to live? Who do you want to uh, experience in your life? Uh, you know, all of those things, you're not dreaming big enough and they want you to start dreaming big. And when you dream big, dream even bigger than that. Um, because you're being reborn, they're saying. We're being regenerated. Your card coming out is the chariot. You ain't seen nothing yet, honey. This is not the, <laughs> this is, they're not through with you yet. This is not the evening of your life. I am going to be, how old am I going to be? I'm going to be 64 in this coming October, and I haven't even started yet. <laughs> you don't look 64. Can I, don't, I don't act like I'm 64 either, believe me. <laughs> my, mother, my, mother had a great, my mother had a great expression. She said, don't ever put the broom away in the closet. Because you never know when you're going to be called to sweep. And they're saying the chariot is a sweeping energy. It's an energy of movement. But not only that, Karen, it's an energy of being recognized and rewarded and promoted and supported. So that's you. You are the charioteer evening of your life. Bah, humbug. <laughs> the, 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 the next card, next card for you is the lady in this card, in this deck, which is the empress. They are saying you are fertile. You are fertile now. Not that you're going to, um, uh, you know, go have physical babies, but they're saying you're fertile with creativity, and they want you to just bring it forth. They want you to write. They want you to even start your own radio program. They want you to. Just look at all the different ways where you can just have fun and bring forth your own brand of your own spiritual knowledge uh, and, and the ancient wisdom that we all have within us. And uh, the next card that's coming out for you is, um, the, uh, in, this, in this deck, it's the high priest, it's the hierophant. And then you will draw to yourself those groups and um, organizations that are going to want what you're having. Because that joy and that energy inside of you is just going to be, it's going to be contagious. And it's going to all start from you saying, I am being reborn. This is not the evening of my life. I hope that's been helpful for you. Uh, you thanks for the chills. You, as I said before, you're the candy to the soul. Thanks, Evan. <laughs> Oh, you're joyous. Thank you so much. And and make sure you call in. Once you choose this different energy mindset, things are going to start popping. So you make sure you call back in and tell us about it. I will. Thank you. Uh, God bless. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh, thank you so much. Let's go to our next caller. We have Kimberly in Washington. Kimberly, you're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff, how are you today? Kimberly, are you there? Hi, yes. Hi, what's your Hi. question? Hi, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. That's okay. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm finally checking in with you. I told you I was going to check in with you. I'm the girl that had those hearts popping in. Remember quite a while ago, I think I called oh, in a couple yes. times and yes, yes, yes. yes. so here, yes, the here heart I lady. Am. <laughs> and I am the heart lady. Yeah. West coast hearts. And, um, 
I just thank you for keeping me above water, basically, because every single reading that you, you over the radio, you know, every single weekend or every single week with Stephanie and David and Peter and everybody, um, you're, it's just, you're spot on with me because I, I just can't even thank you enough. Well, you're making me cry. <laughs> and, and I've got to tell you, Kimberly, this is, this is the reason why I've done this show. I never did it for money. I never did it for fame. I never did it for success. Yeah, right. I did it because God told me to serve in this way. And, and yeah. this, this is the reason why. And it's more fruition than I, than I could ever imagine. And so thank you from the so bottom amazing. of my heart. You're so amazing. So, I, you know, I'm continuing to take the photographs and stuff like that and working on my book. But I got sidelined um, with, like, a revelation in my marriage oh. and my husband. Oh. So, um, and so it's like I am being reborn. You know what you just said to the other gal? Yeah, I am totally being reborn and learning how to live my new life here, and I don't want to divorce my husband, and I don't want to break up my family, and I am staying in this for the greatest good of my beautiful family, mm -hmm. but I've discovered something about my husband that makes complete sense for okay. years and years yep. and years yep. and years. It yep. is what he's been doing. It makes complete sense, but I do not want to break up my family and so that sidelined me I in fact I found out I discovered on Christmas Eve and it was the best present God has ever given me because mm -hmm. I've been asking what's going on what's going on what's going and I finally and the answer came and it was a miracle but it all made sense and I got to tell you it it's hard you know because I've been married for like 20 plus years yeah um yeah, and so and so I didn't, you know, turn in my, well, you know, I was going to try and really just hammer it out and turn in my book proposal and everything, but no, I was in shock for a couple months and I've been dealing yeah. with this and, um, and so, and so from your readings and everything, one of them like a couple months ago was like, why? What are you waiting for? Why are you waiting? You're waiting for something to happen. And I'm like, oh my gosh! And so that day, I open an Instagram account. And, and so I'm posting them on Instagram. Wonderful. I'm post, yeah, I'm posting my hearts on Instagram, and I'm doing I'm doing that for me. And you know, it's and it's uh, um, just completely not for fame. It's for me. It's for other people. If you if they find them, great, because that's what they are. They're the hearts, and I have my little quotes that go along with the hearts, and I'm really excited about it. And that's keeping me above water in this other situation. Right. With I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm yeah. going to speak because I've only got about three minutes left. I'm going to speak now yeah. about, yeah. about your situation. Okay. It's not okay, side. And I'm thinking about taking Reiki too. A Reiki oh, course, so that wonderful. Know wonderful. That too. Yeah. Okay. Be, don't, uh -huh. don't okay. walk, run, run to the Reiki practitioner that you will be divinely guided to and to take that because it will open up doors for you okay. um, uh, that yeah. that are going to help you enormously, especially with this situation. Okay. The Posse of Angels yeah. are saying, um, they're, they're actually saying, Dear Kimberly, this information yeah. is not sidelining your life. It's right. not, it's not right. sidelining. No, it's, not. It's, it's actually yeah. adding to it because you are ready yeah. now. You are ready yeah. now to absorb this, this information in order for you then to decide what to do. If you, right, decide, right. If you decide to stay, then that will be perfect mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. moment. But know mm -hmm. that things can change and you, will, you might feel differently in right. once you take this Reiki course, which is m more about knowing ourselves, knowing how we're divinely driven. And once these revelations come up, know that you might feel differently and allow yes. that to happen. So that's a really, okay. really good. Um, now, the next, this card is the Eight of Pentacles for you. The Eight of Pentacles is about hard work being rewarded. Um, because of your insight now and how much you've grown, 
that's why this information has come to you now you. because you can absorb it others too. and you will be, I just was going to say that, and you will be able to, going through it, you will be able yeah. to help others immeasurably by this. Um, the tower card is next for you. The, um, without telling us on air, uh, this was rocking your world. But this had totally. to come out. This had to come yeah. out in order for your next path to open for you. I mean, this is really yeah. important because it's a brand new start for you, sweetheart. And then yeah. the next card for you. Oh, I said next start. The next card for you is the fool, which is the complete new start in your life and stepping on this path as a child would. Allow yourself yeah. to be led do what nourishes and nurtures your soul. And, uh, and, and there is no right and there is no wrong. The posse of angels do have one advice and then I've really got to go. But the posse of angels are saying, in everything you do, allow yourself to be honored and respected. And after taking and dur during this Reiki course, you might have a different change of perspective and attitude as to how you're going to proceed. And, and it might break you open to realize that. So keep surrendering yeah. and keep opening up. Okay. And the posse of angels are showing me a vision of them putting their arms around you and hugging you so tight. Oh, thank you. I'm I sending you so much love. Thank you so much. And God is amazing because he doesn't deliver the answers until your consciousness is able to withstand. And that is completely what happened to me. I was, so I wouldn't true. have been able to withstand the news, you know, five years ago, three years ago. So, so true. Yeah, it, it's real people. Everybody that's <laughs> listening, this is Send, legit. Sending you Candy, so much you love. Awesome. Thank you so much. Love okay, you. Okay. Take right, care. Love you too. Okay. All righty. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And that wraps the show up for today. Thank you to all my callers. God bless you all. Thank you to people who are listening, who I've never met and spoken with. Thank you for recommending and listening to my marvelous show, which is every Tuesday at 9 a.m. on Transformation Talk Radio. And remember, everyone, go out and fashion an absolutely beautiful life for yourself. I'm sending you love and angel blessings, and I look so forward to speaking with you again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye. Mm -hmm.